Good evening, everyone. We're gonna do a couple of unboxings. We got this book here, or this package here from Southern Comic Geek, as well as an unboxing of uh, new comic books, or is it new comic books or a trip to, to a, my LCS? One of the two. I forget right now, but it is a separate a separate video recorded that's gonna be added to this video at the end, since I. Uh, had some computer problems and wasn't able to publish it at the time. So I had to combine it on a different video to fit it. So um, I'm a Patreon member of Southern for $9 a month. So I get one month free shipping, part of my benefits. So. I we used it to uh, ship out two books that I uh, got from him recently. So here we go. As soon as it wants to give it to me. All right. Looks like did I get a second book or a third book? Cause one of these books, one of these books, Southern got from, um, you know got for me from my ASM collection while he was out and about. The other I got from us from his Saturday morning auction. So I don't know if there was a book behind it or not, or if he threw in a free book. So we'll have to see. Yeah, it's probably a three book free book. Anyway. First off, The Amazing Spider-Man Annual Number 42. So, I do think I want to collect all the annuals of ASM, but I'll wait till after the, the original ASM run because the original ASM run is more important. But when I saw this of Southern's, it's an easier, cheaper way to get this, I'm sure, than to buy it on eBay. So, plus, uh, I forget where my son has this issue. I think it was a Walmart. I think it might have been in a Walmart packet. Something like that. But uh I teased him that I was always gonna steal this book from him, so now I have my own, so I don't have to tease it anymore. <laughs> and the book that came with it, Batman and Robin Eternal number four. Awesome. And the book that came with Mylar, well, I will be putting a new backboard in it, it's easier to look bigger than that. Amazing Spider-Man number 82, with a cool little date stamp, right there. So, pretty, pretty cool. December 11, 1969, I believe, anyway. That's 1969. That part's a little fudged. When I was first gotten into collecting comic books, I didn't like date stamps. I didn't like them at all. I felt they took away from the book. But hearing people talk about, oh, cool day stamp, cool day stamp, this is cool, I like this, I like that, it did change my change my mind and change my opinion. I did realize that it was kind of it was right. It was character of the book, you know, something that was just added, you know. This book has made it from the time of publishing all the way through the day, you know, traveled through time. So this happened at a certain moment of the book's history and never happened again. So, I find it cool. Anyway, 82. Very, very cool. So, I believe that's another book down, so I'm not sure how many books I have left, but, um, I'm getting closer and closer to the end, you know, I can feel it. I'm, if I had a guess, I'd say within two years for sure, I'd fin I'll finish this collection. The only reason I say within two years instead of sooner was a lot of the books that I have left, we're talking 30 plus dollars easy, maybe like I said, 100 to 200 if 
for the lower books like 11, no, 13, which would be more than a couple hundred or two. And, you know, first uh, Mysterio, but more than that. Luckily, Mysterio has already been in the AC, um, the MCU, so hopefully, if he shows up again, or shows up again that in a movie, this book won't spike so much in value like it did the first time around. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy the clip. It's, uh, it's coming up just now, so. All right, let's do a little unboxing here. Some new comic books from Hall of Justice Comics and Collectibles, where I like to buy it. My weekly new comic book day video. I didn't get a tracking number this time. Usually I get an email with a tracking number, you know, kind of thing, you know, says your package has been shipped, shipped, shipped out. This time I didn't, it was weird. So I was spent, you know, the last, since Wednesday, today is Saturday, wondering if I, my books got sent out, if I'd have to talk to them next Wednesday when more new books came in, say, hey, I never got my old books, what the hell? So, at least I got them, at least I did get them. Just wasn't expecting them. Just three books today. Action Comics 1031, cover B. Not bad. I dig the 1930s, 40s vibe to it. This is a interesting cover. X-Men number 20. Still getting it, although I'm starting to wonder if I want to continue it because the storyline's not quite what I thought it would be, I guess, or, or not turn out the way I hoped it would be when I loved House and Powers of X. That was awesome. And the last book is uh, which Black Panther number 25, I believe. Uh, yeah, 25, or Legacy 197. It is the Gleason cover. You know, the whole Amazing Spider-Man 55 covers. You know, same artist. And I believe this is the last comic book of the writer. I'm not sure if it's... Well, it's not... I don't think it's... Um, Patrick Gleason is the cover artist. I don't know who the writer is. I forget who the writer is. This last book by this Black Panther artist. And so it's a mixture between Patrick Gleason did this cover. And I just really like it. And the fact that it seemed significant. So I got it. So, so I like this little fine art minimalism sticker thing here. So those are the three books. Short, simple, and to the point. Hit the like button. Hit the sub button. And I'll see you guys next time for the next video. Talk to you later.